Alright guys, Papa Pepper here with another one of the wild man's wild friends. This happens to be the bullfrog. And this is the big one. This one I believe is an adult female. Uh, she's got a little growing to do, but she's pretty good size. And that's a pretty good size for a frog. Not quite as fat as those cane toads we had down in uh, Texas. But most people, if they uh, have any action, any interaction with the uh, bullfrog, it's often going to be uh, eating frog legs or dissecting them in a science class. But for wild people, we see them out in their natural habitat quite a bit. Um, one reason you can tell it's a bullfrog size at this point, but another one if you look at the eardrum and the dorsolateral uh, fold there, just comes straight around. A lot of them will run straight down here. Not so with the bullfrog. They're kind of smooth across the back and that just loops loops the eardrum there. So these guys are native to the United States and Canada. Um, because of the popularity for frog legs and stuff like that, they have been uh, introduced around the world. So you'll find them South America now, Europe, Asia, stuff like that. They are an aquatic true frog. So you're going to find them by permanent bodies of water, unless it's a male out in the beginning of the year, um, trying to find his own place. Um, these guys will eat about anything. In fact, I had two in a bucket that was sealed. I had a small one I was going to show you. I don't have a small one anymore, so I think that she actually ate it. It's just a little one, so it looks more like a green frog or a mink frog or, you know, more that size. But, uh, but it's gone now. So these guys will eat about anything. Pretty much if they can get their mouth on it, which is a good sized mouth, and stuff it in their, stuff it in their mouth, um, they're going to gobble it down. So insects, fish, crayfish, birds, bats even, other frogs, reptiles, uh, amphibians, really, uh, you know, they'll eat baby turtles, they'll eat small snakes, stuff like that. And actually, they do have uh, little teeth too, so kind of comes on like a little clamp just to hold the uh, hold the prey still. Um, rodents, stuff like that too. They'll eat mice, smaller other rodents. So uh, these guys will start life as a tadpole. Um, the female, uh, when she finds a suitable male, he'll jump on her back and she'll find a good place to lay her eggs. And she can lay up to 20,000 eggs. She'll start uh, laying those and uh, he will start uh, fertilizing them so it's an external um, you know mating and uh, then the tadpoles will hatch and uh, the interesting thing about the tadpoles is it depends on how many uh, the degree of the water if it's warm it's a couple months that they can uh, turn into a full-size you know bullfrog and come on land well not full-size they'll uh, you know be smaller than this but um, and then if uh, if the water's cold though, it can take them two or three years as a, um, as a tadpole. Sorry, I'm getting distracted by ducks and guinea fowl and chickens all chasing each other around. But uh, it can take them up to two or three years to actually uh, metamorphosize. So, uh, pretty cool. I remember the first time I found uh, a tadpole. It was huge. I thought, what in the world? But, uh, but we got it. And... Uh, in captivity, these have been known to live up to 15 years. In the wild, they estimate 10, but it's hard to know the uh, age of a wild animal. So, that's what they speculate. Anyway, there's a lot of things I do uh, eat. I don't mind eating frog legs. I just, it's hard for me to take a frog this big, this cool, and uh, kill it myself. So, I'll be letting it go. Letting her start a new generation of, of bullfrogs. So. I'll take a couple more pics of it quick and uh, get this up in a post for you guys. One of those beautiful eyes. All right, pop out. As always, I'm Papa Pepper, and I'd like to remind you, don't post for free. If you'd like to be part of a revolution in social media, an economic power to the people where users can actually blog for cryptocurrency, then I'd recommend that you check out steamit.com and join the revolution. Pop out.